Where you find a low socioeconomic area, you find uh, the issues of drugs and alcohol are involved, and, and uh, particularly where um, the drug ice or crystal meth is involved, it's escalated uh, people's erratic uh, reactions and psychotic episodes, and I think that's probably what the police are, are alluding to. It's, it's all because they've borrowed something or got dope and haven't paid for it, and they've got a you know, all right, and then, then there's a fight over it. And, yeah. you know, that's all it is mainly, over who's, who's paid and who hasn't paid. This resident says he's barricaded himself in. I've got a, a padlock on the gate. I've got a, a wrought iron gate inside before you get into my place. So I've got my front door. And they've all got padlocks on them. In the last couple of years, church and welfare groups have been regular visitors to the park trying to improve the quality of life for the residents. But they admit it's something of an uphill battle. Police say they are regular visitors to the park, either just on daily patrols or because of some incident. And they tell us the park is considered so dangerous, ambulances won't come here unless they have police protection.